A few months ago I made a video about bounce rate and the question I was trying to address in that video was did you know that a bounce is not always a bounce? Now the thing is that if you search on YouTube decrease bounce rate you find my video in the second position right after Ni Patel and this causes a little bit of problems because people are expecting to find the solution to decreasing the bounce rate, meaning that people will visit more than one page. Well, that's not what that video is about. So this is the real video, how to decrease your bounce rate. So let's suppose this is a page where I want to teach you how to decrease your bounce rate. And uh, I want people to click on the two links that are on the bottom of the page. Well, that's not gonna happen here because this page looks ugly. To have people moving through your website, you basically need two things. One is to increase clarity and two is to give them something to click because if there is nowhere to click they cannot go to another page. It is pretty simple. Now clarity is a little bit more complex than just adding a link. So what is clarity? Clarity means that people understand what your page is about. People understand if they are in the right place people understand what they should, should do on the page. So your page must have a message that resonates with people, so we're talking about content, but this content should be presented to the user in a very good way, otherwise it takes too much time to understand and users don't have time, they just uh, browse really quickly and they move on to the next website if they don't understand your page, all right? So let's make this ugly page pretty by using the 13 tips that now I'm going to give you. Increase clarity. First thing to do, use large readable fonts. Let's do that. Boom. So you see, we, we were like this, very tiny, and now it's something like this. Boom. It's like punchy. You can read it really well. So next tip is use a visual hierarchy. Now visual hierarchy is kind of a complex topic, but in a nutshell is using elements of different sizes and colors to help the user moving through the page and just noticing what is important, what you want them to notice, okay? So in this page, we'll use different font sizes to help uh, the user understand the page. So here it is. So it was like this and we are making a visual hierarchy so that people can understand the page better. Third point is use color properly. All right, this is important. You want to have simple colors, use a color scheme and make it nice. So you now you see that the links are, are like popping out from the page and you see that's how to decrease that that's really now important on this page your bounce rate okay now next point is use bullet points yeah bullet points look at this how this changes dramatically the clarity of the page so people don't have time people don't read a chunk of text like this but if you split it in bullets it's much easier to read it's much faster and they will understand your page better. So it means they will stay more time on your page and they're more likely to take action, right? So next point is use section titles. These are very important, you see, section titles, because uh, again, people just scroll the page, they skim through the page, and they need to understand what each paragraph is about. So if you put a title over the paragraphs, sections, if you want, this helps a lot to understand what's on the page without necessarily reading the entire text, right? And next point, which is very related to this one, is to use bold. Bold helps, bold in the paragraphs, helps people to just quickly skim through the page and see the things that you highlight. With an effective use of bold, you can have the user understand what's on the page without forcing him to read. That's really, really powerful. And look at this, you see, bold, not always. This draws attention to that question there, which is the main point of this page, okay? So next point is use short copy. Now in this page, the copy is already short, but if you write a landing page or, or, or uh, an article, whatever it is that you're writing, just make it 
in short paragraphs. Don't write blocks of text. That's too hard to digest. People don't read it. So again, if you can write something in 17 words, don't use 30, okay? Short. And now, last for clarity is use a lot of white space like this. So give the elements on the page space to breathe so that the user, when he moves the uh, eyes on the page, it can kind of stop on the big items and uh, every item becomes important. If you squeeze everything on the page, then it's very difficult to understand what is important and what is not. Okay, now let's talk about uh, giving them something to click. You see there are already two links in the bottom of the page, but that's not enough. I believe nobody would click on these two links right now. So the first suggestion here is to use buttons for the call to actions, like this. So buttons, they are meant to be clicked, okay? Text like that. People might understand or not that it's a link, but a button, a button, has to be clicked, all right? So this is what you want. So next point is make your call to action prominent. So here I have two buttons, but I really want them to click on the one on the left. So no, tell me more. And I want them to click there. So what I do, I do this. I make one of the buttons more prominent visually so that people are most likely to click it, all right? Now, draw attention to your call to action. We have these buttons there, but there is not much visual information that draws my attention to the buttons. So what I do, I add a visual item right there to just grab my attention and point it to the buttons, to the call to actions, you see that? You can make this even better if you add more than one visual item. I really like this solution here. So our attention is on the button that I want you to click, all right? So you should do this on your page. Now, the next point is that you have to repeat the call to action multiple times throughout the page. Now, this is just a slide, so it's not much space. It's just one time, one call to action. But on your page, basically, you want to have the call to action every, every scroll. So when one call to action goes out of the screen, you have another one. So there is always a call to action on the screen. That's a very nice trick. And now, last, remind them why they should click. Because people read the page, they, at some point they might even not, don't remember what they wanted to do. So it's always nice to put a little bit of motivation in there, a little bit of copy, like this one. This information will improve the user experience on your website. Whoa, that's cool, tell me more. You see? So you remind them. Now, these are the 13 tips. If I want to make this page really nice, I should change the title and put numbers and I get this. So 13 tips to decrease your bounce rate. This is awesome. And you see, it looks quite nice. And it didn't take much to go from that lousy version to this one. So you just apply these 13 tips. This is what you would have if you didn't implement any of the 13 tips I just gave you. And this is what you get if you implement all of them. See how awesome is that? So you basically should go through your pages and make sure that they look something like this, not something like this. And you will see that your bounce rate will decrease dramatically. Of course, you must have the right message on the page. These are techniques. You need to have a strategy behind that. So the page you want them to click must uh, be a logical next step for them, all right? So if you have a website that is making more than 100,000 page views per month and you want my opinion on how to decrease your bounce rate and how to start making more money, you can send me an email at grow at andreabronzini.com and you can ask for my help. Now I'm gonna ask you view access to your Google Analytics because it's only by checking your analytics that you can really understand which are the levers to pull to make people move in the website, okay? In case you want to do it yourself, remember that all you have to do is to increase clarity and give them something compelling to click, all right? That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.